Hey everyone, uh, Graz here for the GKBC. It's Tuesday, it's time for the Marvelous Team Up, uh, where Tad, uh, Tad reads books and stuff, and I read graphic novels and comic books, and then every other week or so, we talk about uh, the same sections and stuff. Right now we're reading uh, Righteous Thirst for Vengeance by Rip Remender. Uh, and the art is by Andre Lima Araujo. I'm guessing on that last name. Um, this time around we read issues four through six. Uh, make sure you, if you if you want to learn more about this book, make make sure you watch both of our videos for issues one through three. Um, this section. If you remember, if you have watched the other, the first video, you know that our narrator, who up till this point didn't, doesn't have a name, had saved the girl from the other hitman, and they, he, they were getting away, and she said, what about my son? And they have to go back and try to rescue her son before people show up to, you know, write, or I guess not write, but to fix what this, the narrator kind of got in the way of and messed up because they want her dead for some reason. So they, so that's where we left it off. So here we are, we're starting again. They go back, they, they managed to rescue the son, but already there waiting, taking a video and watching is the original Drano killer. So that's fun. Uh, then we find out that one of the cops is in on it too. And the guy that wants the people dead is basically the mayor. <laughs> so our narrator takes the mom and her boy and tries to get them all passports and IDs and stuff so that they can disappear. And while doing that, he has to go do go to this seedy bar, biker bar. Not that biker bars are seedy, but the one in this book is. And um, the bartender's like ten grand cash. <clears throat> so then, when he shows back up later to pay the pay for it, the bartender has turned on him and they're gonna steal his money and, and they're gonna kill him for the 10 grand well they don't know he's got a gun and he blows the bartender's head off and gets away and the mom shows back up in the car and saves him by like knocking down the guys and as they're driving away to escape the there's like a bunch of these rednecks and they're shooting at him and the narrator gets shot in the shoulder and the mom gets shot in the throat and she's driving so they she dies and they crash and the the remaining rednecks are coming down the slope coming down the hill and the narrator is he's got his gun and he's shaky and he's like what am I gonna do and all of a sudden crack 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 they all they all drop and it's a dude that he had seen at the bar who has a sniper rifle and I guess he's part of like a commune militia thing off in the woods off grid and he brings the narrator and the boy whose name the boy's name is Xavier he brings them both to the commune and they become part of the the way of life there. We find out, I don't I don't know if it's his real name or if it's just what they named him or what he told them, but our narrator finally has a name that we can get we can we don't have to keep calling him the narrator. His name is Sonny, which sounds about as fake as a three dollar bill. Uh, well anyway, he starts getting worried and he wants to go see his mom at the nursing home, which because we're reading it we're omniscient. We know what's happening away from Sonny 
we know that uh, the bad guys, the mayor and, and, the, and, the, and the cop and the Drano killer, who I'm guessing is the Blue Jackal serial killer or hitman, they all know who Sonny is and they know where his mom is. And it's probable that she's already dead and that they're waiting for him to show up. Because uh, they call her a string to pull. So I'm hoping she's still alive, but if she is, I don't, I don't see her surviving this, this whole book. Because she's collateral damage. Or she will be just collateral damage. Well, anyway, the guy that he um, that, that rescued him, let me see if I can find his name. I apologize for not knowing this before. Uh, I think it's Jim. Jim. His name is Jim. He's telling Sonny, you know, you can't go back. You know they're waiting for you there. You can't even make a phone call because then you'll be on the grid and they'll, they'll ping you and they'll be here. And it's not just you or that kid that you brought in. It's all of us. And it looks like there's like 30 or 40, maybe 50 people in this commune. And so he's like, all right, fine. I mean, I've thrown my whole life away. What am I doing? But I guess. And there's a really sweet moment. Uh, well, I'm going to get to that, though. There's a, like a teacher, a lady teacher, who's about the age of Sonny, and she's flirting with him pretty heavy. So somebody wants him. But there's a, there's a really sweet moment where um, Xavier won't talk. He hasn't said a word, excuse me, since his mom died. And they're like, well, he'll talk when he wants to talk. It's fine. But Sonny goes to see him and bring him, an bring him an apple or an orange or some kind of fruit, peach maybe, at the class where they're doing artwork. And Xavier hands Sonny a drawing. And Sonny says, this is brilliant. Thank you so much. And we don't get to see it at first. Now, this is going to get to my camera person, which is the daughter. I have to rub the camera. It's a little blurry, so Great. people are going to see my finger for a minute. That's okay. That this was worse. the picture. Down here in the bottom. <sighs> mm -hmm. So that's cute. Um, and don't worry, next time we'll make sure that she has her camera cleaned off. I think she does this stuff because she's a teenager. So I think she does it on purpose to drive her dad insane because, you know. Anyway, she's so fastidious about her phone. Um, but, so there, so that's really sweet. So Xavier views Sonny as a father figure. He's latching onto him, and I like that. Well, if you remember, Jim's worried about all these bad guys finding, finding out where the commune is. Well, we find out on the last page of this section of, of issue six that Drano killer, blue jackal, whatever is on a hill with binoculars watching the commune. So he's already there. So I'm guessing the next section is going to have some fireworks. And remember, this is only 11 issues and we're through six. So, and the next section that we'll talk about is seven through nine. So it's gonna it's gonna wrap up. It, stuff's gonna start happening. And considering that the mom died, and, and very brutally, I really have no hope for anybody surviving this book. It's almost like as graphic and brutal as Watchmen was. Well, anyway, um, I don't really have a ton to say. I kind of gave you all the high points and my favorites. The artwork is still just as gorgeous and noir-ish <clears throat> as the first bunch. It's very muted. Um, if you watch Tad's video, he talks about the amount of words actually spoken. And it was kind of funny. You turn a page and it's like, whoa, what happened? Is, there, is, it, is it a talking convention? Because all of a sudden, almost every, every panel has words, and it was kind of a, a shock, because most of this doesn't have a lot of talking. Uh, 
and Jim already knows who Sonny is. He says, I know who you are. And he tells him what his job was and everything. But the dude, yeah, he's shaky and stuff, but I think that he's more than meets the eye. Uh, um, he's more than meets the eye here. Because uh, you, your, your random dude who works in an office... And I know that, 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 there, that there are some that can do this stuff. But by and large, they're not like... They can't just slip into a hitman world and hold their own and save people and take out another hitman with a key. And, you know, I mean, there's more to him than we know so far. Uh, but anyway... That's issues four through six of A Righteous Thirst for Vengeance by Rick Remender. I'm not saying the other guy's name again in case I got it right. Uh, go watch Tad's video. I'll link the channel below. I'm sure anybody who subscribed to me is subscribed to him. He just hit 500 subscribers. So he's going to be doing a giveaway soon. So go check his channel out. Uh, I want to say thank you to all 77 of you that are subscribed to us to the GKBC and everybody that comments and likes we were, we're very grateful I kind of got away from doing that I was doing that in every video and then I kind of I don't know but I'm going to start doing it again we're very grateful to all of you um, I mean really I've made a couple of friends and uh, yeah we do some buddy reads and some projects like this one um, you know but I really started this channel with my family just for us and it still blows my mind that there's 77 people that want to hear what we have to say about books it's it's mind-blowing to me and we're we're grateful thank you so much to every one of you uh, I don't really have a whole lot else to say tomorrow and this is happening see AJ had to work she picked up a shift or something, and the Graz mother couldn't come over at the right time. So tomorrow, we're going to do our kind of like skit production for my Macbeth review, or whatever you're, you want to call it. And I think it's going to be great. So watch, watch for that, and that it will be uploaded by tomorrow night. And tomorrow is October 4th, 2023. So, this is Tuesday. Uh, but anyway, got anything to say, camera person? No. No? No. She's not going to get beat, I promise. Um, much. But anyway, uh, I guess... Oh, I'm reading Frankenstein for the first time. And I'm only 24 pages in, and I'm reading the... It's in this Penny Dreadful book that I have, and it says it's the 1818 text, which, according to people that I've watched videos on, is the text you want to read, because it's the original. And I'm... I mean, Victor Frankenstein is still only in college. Not yet. He's just now learning about chemistry and stuff. And I'm already hooked. Mary Shelley has an amazing writing style. And even for... 205 years ago <laughs> wow think about that um, it still can be relevant today so I'm pretty happy with that uh, it's my first time ever reading it but I guess until tomorrow um, when we will the GKBC and Gaines with a hopeful guest star will do our best to honor the bard and until then, read more.